Hey, what is up? And welcome to The Pursuit. I'm so excited that you're tuned in today, whether you are at one of our outposts in the main building, Stanley, or online. My name is Abby. And my name is Brianna. And we are currently in our sermon series, Tired, God's Answer for the Worn Out Soul. Yeah, I'm ready for some rest. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) This first week, we talked about what is Sabbath. If you guys missed that, we have it on our website. You can go and watch Watch it anytime, um, thepursuit.church. But today we'll be talking about stopping and resting. Yeah, I think last week it was so awesome to hear Pastor Tom talk about what does Sabbath mean um, and how we can just bring that to our lives and to our family lives. Yeah, I um, love the practical steps yeah. that he you know, talked about. And yeah, there were a lot of people afterwards just, oh, dang, I got to go home and yeah. Sabbath, <laughs> Sabbath it out. So we have some really cool resources for for you. If you were in the building or at one of the outposts last week, you should have received one of these. And if you didn't, make sure you swing by your connect table to get one of these. Um, I've just heard some really good um, yeah, feedback, feedback on, on these. Mm-hmm. And so we have the beginner's guide to Sabbath. So how you can begin things that you can do to prep for it. Yeah. And, and then also the Bible reading plan that goes along. It, it kind of has the weeks um, out <laughs> placed out yep. in front of it. Yeah. And then it has some reading plans um, for those. So if you are online as well, you can get your hands on these. Uh, there'll be a link that you can click and um, get get uh get these in your own home so yeah and the thing that i really love about it is just the intentionality behind uh behind what sabbath looks Mm -hmm. like um pastor tom said it's more than just a family fun night yeah uh, which i always love a good family fun night for sure but um how can you really be focused on god and what does that look like and just conversations to have with your family um and yeah, how to take care of your yourself. Yeah, for sure. No, I loved the idea of lighting the candle just to signify like yeah, the starting the starting of the Sabbath. I thought that was a really cool I know, practical I, step yeah. for people to do. I think we might homes. get like a gong. Like I'll just <laughs> <laughs> I know I was like that's <laughs> starting. <laughs> he said he had four candles and I'm like, geez, we're gonna oh, have he has to have four? like okay. I know <laughs> I'm gonna have to have like ten. <laughs> My kids like to light candles. <laughs> With that being said, we are starting with Week two, we're talking about stopping and resting. Uh, make sure you get the Bible reading plan and also download the U Version Bible app if you do not have it on your phone yet. Yeah, definitely. We have uh, our digital bulletin on there. We have all the events that are coming up. So it keeps you in the know of everything that is happening here at The Pursuit. And it also puts the word right in your palms. Yep. <laughs> so many Many reasons. A lot of benefits. A lot of benefits. Why you should have the Bible app. (laughs) Uh, With that being said, uh, we have everything on the digital bulletin Mm -hmm. that you can keep posted with. And we have something coming up very soon, some events coming up that we are really excited to share with you. Yes. Yeah. So (laughs) I want to introduce our uh, Momentum coordinator Shelby. So can we snap Shelby in here? I think so. What is up, Shelby? Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited that uh, you have the chance to sit down and chat with me for a bit. Uh, We have our teen gathering coming up. And why don't you give us a little info on what that will look like? Yeah, so it's called There for Teen Gathering. Uh, It is a live stream conference that we found uh, through something if was doing over the summer, they had a a lead conference online. And so they shared that this teen one was coming up and just with everything that we've been dealing with, with COVID and whatnot, uh, we just thought what an awesome opportunity to give teenagers a chance to engage in worship and a conference, uh, just a meaningful experience. And it was completely free. So that was the right right price tag. Uh, But yeah, so we're hosting it in our building. You just come, uh, it's Friday the 19th and Saturday the 20th. Uh, You just show up and uh, we, well, I should say, I want you to register 
register ahead of time, um, but show up. There's going to be worship, uh, great speakers, uh, just an opportunity. Snacks. Yes. Snacks. Lots of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Bear Scott Donuts for oh. Saturday morning. We're doing an ice cream sundae bar. Um, I can't remember which night that's going to be, um, but one of the days. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of free food. So. so who is this targeted for? Like, who are you asking uh, to come? Yep. So our Momentum Ministry is 6th through 12th graders. And so I thought that's who was invited to this. Uh, it's for high schoolers, actually. Okay. But so we're going to kind of work around that. So uh, the entire weekend, we're inviting 8th through 12th grade because um, our 8th graders, you know, they, they can be mature uh, and, and handle bigger topics. Um, and then Friday night, since it's really just a worship night and an opener, we're also inviting 6th and 7th graders to come to that because uh, we didn't want to exclude anyone from our Momentum Ministry. So that was kind of our workaround. So anyone in junior high or senior high can come on Friday night. And then Saturday is going to be for the 8th through 12th grade girls. That's awesome. I see that their theme is Abide. So do you want to let the parents know um, kind of why, how they came up with the word abide or what does it mean? Yeah. So I wish I had the scripture on me, but it was John 15, 5, but just where Jesus talks about being the vine and being the branch that we grow off of. And so learning to abide in him. And I think especially for our teenage girls, like what we see on Wednesday nights of just learning what it means to have a relationship with Jesus, but then to also abide in him, to rest on him, to go to him for everything really. Um, so I think that's going to be really awesome for teens to hear. Yeah. It's so um, important for them too. Yeah. And I think just in a year where everything's been turned upside down and we just don't even know what what solid ground looks like, we can always come back to Jesus. Uh, so to hear that abide was the theme, like I was very excited for that. And I just think it'll be a real encouragement to girls to see what that means and yeah. what that looks like. I'm looking for, I will also be there and I'm looking forward to, I, yeah. I've seen the leader <laughs> uh, lineup and it is phenomenal leaders. Um, the girls are going to get so yeah. much content out of it. Um, so, okay. If a parent has any questions yeah. or they want to register their uh, daughter, how do they do that? Yep. So we have, uh, we do have a Facebook event for it. Momentum has a Facebook page. So you could always find that uh, through looking through The Pursuit. Um, but if you go to thepursuit.church slash there for my not, that's the landing page. It'll take you to registration. Um, it can have you log in, register there and sign up. Um, the other thing I want to mention while we're here is I recognize not everyone is comfortable meeting in person yet. I mean, we mm -hmm. still have online services. And so it is a free live stream. And so if you want to participate participate at home, you can look up there for gathering uh, and you can register yourself um, or your daughter, uh, probably your daughter because they're doing giveaways through the site themselves, but you can watch it from home. Um, so if being in person is not comfortable for you, um, I will say we're anticipating around 100 people and our sanctuary fits over 800. Mm -hmm. So I mean, social distancing 100% can happen, um, but I know that people aren't ready for that. So you could totally watch from home yeah. and engage that way. But and yeah. that sounds like, to me, it's like a good mother-daughter night yeah, too. Like get totally. a hotel room, hang out with your oh, daughter. That yes. would be fun. Very sweet. So. Totally can do that or have a, a small group of friends to your house. Like as much as I would love to see everyone right. here at the building, um, honestly, as long as you're just participating in it, yep. I think it's going to be awesome and powerful. So yeah. yeah. Well, sounds good. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Shelby, for everything that you do with our youth. And I can't wait for the... Uh, therefore a uh, conference to happen. So we'll bring Brianna back in here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Brianna. Thank you. So are you going to be participating in the Therefore Conference? I am. I know. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be so amazing and yes. so good for everybody. Yes, so. it is. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. Yeah. So tell us about, um, we have our early childhood development coming in. Yes. So um, at the end of the month. Yep. February 28th. February 28th, we will have our early childhood pursuit only starting that date. So it will be um, babies to pre-K that will be able to 
Gosh, it's exciting that yeah. we'll start that. So yeah, kids I, pursuit is excited. We're especially excited. if you guys are families on, are excited. Yeah, if you're <laughs> online watchers and it's been holding you back from coming yes. to church, um, because I get it. Having toddlers, that's it's they don't hard sit to. Still. It is hard yeah. to wrestle and get a lot out of the service for yourself. For um, sure. So if you are one of those that's that have been day. staying home, mm-hmm. make sure you get plugged back in. We're uh, yes. opening early childhood for you on the 28th, and I'm very excited for it. It. Me too. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. And with that being said, we um, kids pursuit still, you know, they still need to operate and work as their ministry. Mm-hmm. So if you guys are feeling called at all to uh, children's Serve ministry, this way. would yeah. be an awesome opportunity to get plugged in with Brittany Bush. Um, she's the director. And we- yeah, you can email her if yeah. you're feeling called to serve in that way. Uh, Brittany.bush at the pursuit.church and she will get you plugged in. Yeah. So. so if this is your first time with us, make sure you swing by one of the connect tables wherever you're at. We have a free gift for you. And if you are watching online, make sure you text the word connect to the phone number on the screen um, and get our digital bulletin, whether that's by going to the Bible app or mm-hmm. scanning a QR code. Uh, it's full of great info for you guys. And if you guys are loving the series so far, why don't you share it if you're online for somebody to see and hopefully... Uh, um, they can be filled up in that way. And also, if you're at one of our on one of our locations, you can grab our card invite and invite somebody to come with you next time. Yeah. Um, so on here, prep day ideas. One that I love was pre-make meals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so <laughs> if you guys are looking for the beginner's guide to Sabbath, it has a lot of good info on there. Yes. Yep. No, for sure. Um, that's always you a good idea. You do this one. What? Answers Answer to, time like, sensitive yeah. texts, voicemails. Get things out of the way before. Yep. So, yep. And then I do. Yeah. And then I'm like, I have to <laughs> I be have off to go. now. Yep. Uh, so make sure if Sabbath is completely foreign mm-hmm. to you, grab the beginner's guide. Um, it has some awesome info on there. And with that mm-hmm. being said, I'm ready to worship with you guys today. I am too. So we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye.